Hi friends, there are some new modes you can now play with your friends in custom matches in Apex Legends. Gun run, control and team deathmatch have all been added to private matches. I actually hosted these new modes in custom games on my stream last Saturday, playing with my viewers, and it was a lot of fun, as you can see in the clips in the background. So thank you to everyone that joined me, and in today's video we're going to take a quick look at how to play the new modes in custom games, I'll show you how to set them up with custom settings, and how many players you need as a minimum to play each mode. And by the way, yes, arena mode has been removed and these new modes kind of replace it, plus battle royale is still there. And don't worry if you don't have enough friends to play custom games with, you can check out my streams right here on this YouTube channel on Saturdays at around 7.30pm UK time, because I do custom games with my viewers and you can join in, as you can see from the clips, it's a lot of fun. So to set up one of these new game modes under private matches, in Apex Legends, all you've got to do is click the game selection menu, click private matches in the top right, and here you'll get two options. If you're joining one of my custom games on my stream, then you would click join and then enter the code. And if you want to create your own custom matches with these new modes, then just click create match. And this will bring you to a lobby and you'll see in the top right, you can click reveal the code. And that's where your friends will need to enter to join your lobby. If you go to settings now, this is where you can choose the game modes. You'll notice duos is now there, which means you can do battle royale trios or duos. In terms of minimum number of players for each, you'll need 30 players minimum to play battle royale. I did see the devs mention they'll review the numbers in future seasons, so it's possible they might reduce the number in the future. For now though it is a 30 player minimum and obviously 60 players maximum, and that's the same for trios and duos. The cool thing is though you could do solos if you pick duos, because you now have 30 teams in duos, which means you could, if you get 30 players, do one player per team. We gave it a try, to be honest it doesn't work that well because the maps are really big, and 30 solos just doesn't really work on these kind of big maps, but you're definitely welcome to give it a go. The minimum numbers are much lower for the other modes though, so if you don't have that many people to play with, that's where these other modes become useful. Team Deathmatch, the minimum is 12, the maximum is also 12, so essentially you can only play with 12 players for Team Deathmatch. For Control it's lower, the minimum is 6 players for Control, with a maximum of 18 players, and for Gun Run the minimum is 6 players and the maximum is 12 players, which is a little better, obviously 6 isn't as hard as 30 players to get. Once you've decided what mode you want, you just click on it, and then click Apply, TDM has Skull Town, Party Crusher, and Habitat 4 as options. Gun Run has Skull Town, Fragment East, and The Wall as options. And Control has Lava Siphon Barometer and Caustic Treatment as options. And by the way, if you pick Battle Royale, you'll notice King's Canyon is an option. Unfortunately, Olympus isn't there, but when they bring Olympus back as a map, I'm sure it'll be added to custom games. In terms of settings, you've got the same options for all of these new modes. You can choose to customize the chat to make it admin only, but if you leave it open, then everyone can type, which is what I'd recommend doing. You can turn self-assigned teams on which lets people pick their own teams before the match starts. If you turn this off then you yourself as admin will have to manually move people. Aim Assist Override lets you set all Aim Assist values to PC settings. Now this is mainly if you've got console players in your lobby and you want everyone to be at the same Aim Assist level. Anonymous mode will just hide all your names. That's kind of it, you can't change the game mode variant, but the fact that it's greyed out suggests they might bring other twists and turns to the normal modes in the future. So hopefully this helps you set up some fun games and custom matches for you and your friends. Personally, I'd say Gun Run is the most fun, followed by TDM. Also, I would say keep a lookout for my other videos on the other fun modes you can do, because we did play some Battle Royale, and we did some fun modes like Hunt the Predator, and shout out to my Predator friends that took part there. And we also did Hide and Seek in Battle Royale as well, which I'll share in later videos. For now though, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.